Welcome to this evening's show. <clears throat> Continuing on with our Isaac Crappy Keppy story. Uh, so, people have brought me a name. A man named Thomas Sugar. 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 Well, Thomas Sugar. How does he know Isaac Cappy? Well, let me tell you how he knows him. This man's been around for a long time. He, uh, he built a uh, little enterprise, uh, ripping off recording artists on the Hollywood scene. Uh, a very well-known guy. Not known to politics, but he was into the music scene. The more I look into this, it's, it's, it's a crazy story, man. It's getting crazy. But Thomas Schuberger has lots of excuses why he has not o only booked over two dozen bands and then failed to pay them. He had already spent their money on his personal business. In the Contra Costa Courthouse, there is a document that shows Thomas Schoenenberger giving testimony that he sold North Bay Entertainment in 2007, when in fact he operated until April of 2009. Thomas Schuberger had a long-term partnership agreement with a man named Stephen LaFleur since 2008. That includes an $18,000 to Thomas Schoenberger in 2004, and Stephen LaFleur is still owed $6,000. Thomas Schoenberger is a liar. He was the owner of the record of dozens of bands uh, that were never paid, and somehow Thomas claims that he owes nobody. The fact is that Thomas Schuberger, now working under the company name AEC, still owes well in excess of $200,000 to different musicians and artists. He owes Stephen LaFleur a total of $247,000, and that's one reason he cyber-stalking Stephen LaFar and many others. The only reason North Bay Entertainment is listed under nobody's name is that Thomas Schoenberger is guilty of embezzling $115,000. $115. From his own company prior to 2008, has been sued over seven times in various courts and found guilty of ripping off bands and agencies as well as individuals. Thomas Schoenberger is an internet stalker and con man. The most recent ripoff from Thomas Schuberger borrowed three hundred thousand to rent a place to three thousand dollars to rent a place to live and never paid paid me back is going to be served in small claims back. Court, take a look at this link. It shows a partial list of good people ripped off by Thomas Schuberger. www North Bay Net www.blognet, www.blognet. Thomas Shore makes all these ridiculous claims because he was exposed in 2009 for the thief that he is. Check out his YouTube post and claim in 9 million views. He has maybe three to 400. He uses bots and has been reported to YouTube. His channel will be down soon, like the phony Facebook page and two website accounts being for due to harassment and false content. Thomas, grow up. This post was made in 2013. There's more, though. There's more. I've just begun my dig into you, Mr. Thomas Schoenberger, and I'm really good at what I do. Uh, but we take a look. He's over on Ripoff Report. <laughs> and everybody fucking hates him. And this is from 2012, by the way. These are your QAnon platformers, by the way. This is another one of them, just so you can uh, know who I'm talking about here. Let me get this up on screen. Da, 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 da. Boom. Let's put that above that image here. Let's go ahead and uh, take this image down. But as you can see, <laughs> uh, owner, 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 all these people, all of these people say that he ripped them off. It was reported by a girl named Karen in uh, Elk Grove, California on Wednesday of October 17, 2012 to a company that Thomas Schoenberger owned called The Best Entertainment, Kotatai Internet. He has a long history, a long history of ripping off people. Long history. This guy's a con man. He's a con man on the internet. He rips off. He was ripping off the Hollywood industries. Now he's ripping off people in the uh, Republican Party movement. 
probably is probably highly involved in this QAnon scam. He's probably he's probably well into it. Uh, well, he's a scam artist. That's what they do. You know, a lot of this. The 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 deeper you dig into the the QAnon scam, you're seeing some very high level players come into this. Uh, some some very uh, professional con men. Professional con men. Definitely, he'll come after Zero. Bring it. Uh, I don't think that bitch knows who I am. He'll find out quick. Uh, I'm not scared of some guy named Thomas Schernenberger out of California. I'll mop the fucking floor with him on Twitter. Uh, the, everybody knows how I am. He'll have a very bad fucking week. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not the guy to come at. <laughs> Good luck to you, Tommy boy. Uh, come on over. See me. I, I don't fear much. Ask everybody else that's... Uh, a fucking Q-tard. <laughs> I'll fucking... I'll fucking internet slap you and fucking spit you out. <laughs> He'll hit the wall, bitch. Uh, so this guy, he's got a history of... Uh, 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 ripping people off. Another one. Another guy... Uh, you know, I mean, wherever you see QAnon... You see some motherfucker scamming some old lady. Everywhere you fucking look. And they're on places like the rip-off report... The scam report... The this report, the that report. Here's another picture of the fucking nitwit. Here's another picture of him right here. Here's another picture of the fucking moron. Uh, so this guy, he's a professional, a professional shit seller. He's a seller of shit. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe he's not uh, posting his cue once in a while himself. Uh, so the more people you find involved in this scam... And Lift the Veil should be ashamed of himself. You know, putting hucksters and scam artists and losers. You know, this is probably why Cappy fucking puffed himself out. He's hanging out with some professional fucking con men. Uh, he sent Cappy to L. I'm sure he sent crappy Cappy over there. No doubt in my mind. He actually does. Yeah, I saw that. I, I started looking this guy up and I'm like, where the fuck are all people coming from like all these professional con men QAnon is the biggest I said this morning when I was talking on my scope I said it's a criminal enterprise yeah I'm reading his comments right now I, I've just started to look into this I'm sure that uh, Defangle's looking into it I'm just starting now I like to do a fresh look but I'm sure other people have reported I, I just heard this guy's name tonight uh, Constantine came over to me and said, who's this Thomas somebody's name? And I was like, I don't know. I can look it up. And then I started looking him up, and I'm like, whoa, where the fuck did this guy come from? Like, He's connected to Sakata. Yeah, Sakata seems to be a group of highly functioning con men from the looks of it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know much about Sakata either. I know they like puzzles and things like that, but, you know. I think uh, I, I I think some bad individuals have gotten into the cicada movement because they you know this shit sells. Let's be real, this shit sells. These conspiracy theories, these 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 stupid things sell. It makes money. It does, and these guys know it. Uh, but what they I don't think they realize is that they're it's a criminal enterprise. I mean, in the bottom line is this: this guy has been. I'm looking at his shit, man. My stalker, my stalker. Uh, this guy ripped me off. I'm reading them all right now. Avoid him at all costs. Uh, I mean, it's a long list of shit. And this is over. I'm, I didn't write this. This is over on ripoffreport.com. I didn't. I didn't write this. This is all over here. I'm reading it on my second monitor right now. I'm like, wow. Like this is a bad dude. This is a really bad fucking dude. Like this isn't a good person. This, this is a real, and these are all different people writing about him. These are people who are in the music industry. Uh, looks like maybe some actors. Uh, you know, it looks like you know, kind of like Hollywood scene. So maybe he knew Cappy from the Hollywood scene and and brought him over and said, "Look, this QAnon shit. We should get in on this and make some money." And that's probably why Cappy started saying, you know, Seth Green was molesting people and. You know, Tom Hanks is a pedophile and all that crap and shit you saw. 
you know, it's crazy shit, man. The more I read, it's like, holy shit. I'm baffled by it. You know? Uh, I, I believe the Fango. I believe you. I, I, I don't care who this Thomas fucking shit burger is. I don't run in his circles. Uh, you know, he, you can make a hundred ripoff reports about me. I don't give a fuck. I don't own a business. What are you going to do? Fucking hurt my fucking feelings? <laughs> what are you going to fucking do to me? Nothing. <laughs> Thomas Dickenhead. But, you know, crazy stuff. You know, all of these guys. I mean, really. I'll have, I, I will. I'll definitely go to Defango's timeline. I, I, I've never heard of this guy, like I said, till tonight. I've never, you know, I was like, who's, share my scope. We'll talk about this right now. I'd never heard about this guy. I, I never followed Cicada. I'm going to be honest. I, I never got in. I've never really been into the conspiracy theory world. I, I really haven't. I'm not one of those conspiracy theory guys. It's not my thing. Uh, I like to follow, like, real news and world events and things like that, but I'm not really into this occultish, you know, uh, cult, you know, conspiracy theory world. It's never been my thing. You know, I might, you know, I might come across it on the Internet and stuff like that, uh, but, you know, when when you see shit like this, this is actual factual evidence, by the way. This well, I wouldn't be surprised if he started in on you. I don't care if he does. I'll tell him to fuck off and, you know, kick him off at McDonald's for a chocolate shake. I don't give a fuck who this guy is. But when you see that somebody's on the ripoff report, they're also on the scam artist report. And this is back in 2012. This is years ago. This is before Trump was president. This was before any of that. This guy was already a bad guy, a known bad guy. This was long before. I mean, Defango was just a kid when this guy was out ripping people off. <laughs> you know, this is 2012. How old are you, Defango? You're under 30, right? I, I don't know your age, but, you know, so this guy back in 2007, I don't know. How old were you, Defango, in 2007, if you don't mind me asking? I, I don't know how old you were, but you were probably a kid, you know. You know, I mean, in 2007, I, w I, I was 30, so... I don't know how old you were in 2007, but this guy is a known fucking con man from 2007. And I'm sure he's a con man before that. Uh, but what I'm reading here is that he started a record label and he was running around Hollywood ripping off artists before there was internet, right? So this guy, he just moved his uh, uh, enterprise from the, the the Hollywood scene over onto the internet. Right? That's what he did. He basically was a Hollywood guy. And he... Yeah, see, you're, you're 33. So you're a young guy. So this guy he moves his little scam from Hollywood over onto the internet. You were 21. Exactly. Exactly. You were tw you're just a kid. You know? Yeah, but these... You know, the more information we put out on these people... The more information we put out on these people the better the internet is going to get educated on who these people are, where they came from, what they're about. They're scam artists. That's all they are. They're, 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 they're walking, talking, fucking scam artists. And they'll try to, they'll try to fucking come at you and, you know, they'll try to intimidate you. Don't be intimidated. These guys can't do nothing to you. Yeah, they, they might, they might dox you. I've already been doxed a thousand times. Don't bother, boys. That, that's a fucking fail and a half. Uh, I'm a known person on the internet. I'm just going to laugh at you. I laugh at all of these QAnon platformers because ultimately I'm Teflon. They can't touch me. There's nothing they can't put out that hasn't been put out before. I mean, I, I'm in so many archives now, I, I lost count. You know, uh, I mean, I, I sign autographs at this point. It doesn't matter. Uh, so don't bother with doing that, Mr. Schumenberger. But what we are going to talk about is your long history of being a criminal. <laughs> of ripping off those that are uh, less fortunate than yourself uh, about people who are aspiring to be you know singers or actors and, and you stole all their money they signed up with you in good faith and said ah oh, I want to I want to you know bring my band I want you to help me promote my band and you ripped them off you ripped them off even before QAnon you were out stealing their money you son of a bitch <laughs> You know, it's not a good guy. All of these guys, you know, the sad part about this is that all of these QAnon platformers, 
it always leads back to the same shit, doesn't it? It it does. It leads back to the same shit. It's always some con man or some slick willy that's trying to just get one over on somebody. Every fucking time. I have yet to find a fucking saint. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I keep looking for that saint. I can't find one. They're all criminally corrupt. Or they're shady. Or they're sneaky. That's the thing. That's how you know this whole QAnon thing's not real. Because everywhere you look, there's a con man waiting to take your money. Now, if you, you know, now this scope is up, you can look this guy up. You know, you can look up. Look up Thomas Schuenberger ripoff. Look up Thomas Schuenberger uh, embezzlement. Look up Thomas Schuenberger $300,000. Just look it up. It's all the information's out there. It's not my information. This is information that's out for public consumption on the internet. I'm not doxing anybody. I'm not telling a lie about anybody. I'm sharing with you that what I see on the internet right now. I've never met this man. I have never met this man in my life. I don't. I didn't even know who he was. So Constantine came in my DM and said, "Who is this Thomas Schuenberger guy? I keep hearing his name." And I'm like, "I don't know. Let me go look it up." In the first three seconds, you know what I found? Con man fraud. Uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars stolen. Uh, you know, that was in the first two minutes. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, where did these people come from? You know? Uh, but the more you look into this QAnon thing, and you look into all the players, since a a um, Isaac Cappy threw himself off a bridge, you can see what's going on. I think the guilt got to Isaac Cappy. And, and I'm not making fun of his death. I, I think the guilt got to him. I, I think he knew he was doing a lot of evil shit. <clears throat> he was blaming people that weren't pedophiles, that they were pedophiles, that he was stealing people's money. He was, uh, you know, so many things he was doing that were wrong. And I think he knew it was wrong. And I think what happens with a person when you do this much evil and you do this much sick and twisted shit, it, it eats at your soul. It eats at the very soul. It, and I, I think he snapped. I think he went mental. And he couldn't take it. He couldn't take the guilt. He couldn't take the guilt of what his friends had him doing. For drugs. And he killed himself. Sad as it may be, it's a sad story. It's a sad story. But I, I think this is a time to start educating people. If anything should be taken from Isaac Cappy's death is that there are bad people on the internet. There are bad people on the internet that will do bad things for the love of money. And, and that's where we're at. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he did stalk him. I, you know, uh, 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 predators, predators are all the same. Predators will try to take power and control over you. That's what they do. They will try to take power and control over you. And you can either let them take that power and control. You can let them do that. Or, or you can tell them to fuck off and laugh at them. And if they get really out of hand, you can call your local police department or sheriff department. I know where I live in Georgia. They don't put up with that shit. So let me say, Mr. Thomas Schuenberger, you con artist, if you even think you're going to do that shit to me, I'll live in Georgia, idiot. You, you can try it, but I guarantee you don't want to see a Georgia prison too quick. It's no fun. It's no fun at all. I'm not that guy to be fucked with. Uh, you send one thread at me or, or something like that, I'll lock your ass up and I'll laugh as they lock you up. I'm not that guy. I'm, I'm contrary. I'm the fucking opposite. I'll come to your court case and fucking laugh at you when they throw the book at you. That's how you handle a bully on the internet. Or a scam artist or a con man. You call them out right in the public. You call them out in the public and you tell them what they're doing is wrong. This Thomas Schuenberg is a scumbag. And people on the internet should be calling him a scumbag daily. <laughs> I only had to read five minutes of this guy's uh, shit to know he's a scumbag. And I suggest people use Google. It's it, Just type his name in. I mean, his name is notorious. 
he has been ripping off people since the minute he fucking rolled out of high school. Professional. He's a professional ripoff. Con man. I've got Sheriff Smart Lane in my nightstand, just saying. Well, you know, hey, everybody's entitled to protection from law enforcement. That's another great thing about America. But, I mean, you, Google this guy. It's crazy shit. It's crazy shit. I, I didn't know who he was, man. I didn't know who he was. But he is everywhere, man. And it's nothing good. Everything about him is bad. That's the fucking... That's the, I guess, the worst part about the, the whole thing is that he's bad. He's not even a good soul. Everything about him is bad. You know, when, when you read about somebody, you might expect to read a couple bad things, but this guy is like plain bad. Like a bad, bad dude. And uh, how, how people have even let him become anything is kind of crazy. You know, that's crazy shit. But these are bad people. These are not good people. But thank you for showing me who he was. I didn't even know. I didn't even know about him until I started looking him up. But like I said, the more people you look in this QAnon movement there, you know, it seems like uh, 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 these streamers are from a uh, drug-addicted culture. Uh, a good percent of them. And I'm I'm now starting to wonder like these guys like 412 and on, and some of these other guys that are streaming. I'm starting to wonder if this QAnon thing is just to fuel their drug habits. I'm honestly asking myself that question. I find you know the more you look into all of these guys and you, you you see Isaac Cappy's history and you see other people's histories, you you know. Uh, you, you you have to wonder to yourself is is this a uh, you know part of it a con to fuel their heroin addictions or you know because you know heroin's prevalent uh, with with a lot of these younger people and now you're starting to see this Hollywood scene come up on and you know from my understanding from what I've read over the last couple of days is that uh, Isaac Cappy had a heroin addiction. I don't know, but that's just what I'm reading. And this is coming from people that knew him. So it makes me wonder if, you know, this crowd is like, you know, you know, heroin fueled madness. And the lift, the, the lift the veil guy is a weirdo. Let me tell you, that guy's another one. He is another guy who is a con man he tells wild stories i i've i've had interactions with lift the veil and he's no different than the rest of the con artists they propel these conspiracy theories in order to make money there's no truth to them there's no facts there's no real information it's just hocus pocus and they target the elderly with this hocus pocus they you know they have found a niche with the elderly and the uh, less fortunate. It's sad. It's sad. The people that aren't very bright are the people that are falling for this. They're just not smart people. And, you know, I know I was hard the other night calling people retards and shit like that. But I think, you know, when you really stop and you look at these things and you look at all these people and all their involvement in this conspiracy theory... You have to think that these people know exactly what they're doing. They know they're taking advantage of the less fortunate. They know they're taking advantage of people that really don't know what they're understanding or reading or partaking in. And they think it's real. Like all this Hollywood pedophilia shit and stuff like that. I mean... In every business and in every culture and every society, there's pedophiles. That's just, it's part of life, man. It's part of life. There are sick people out there that do sick shit. It doesn't matter what, you know, industry, what culture. I mean, there's been cops that have been pedophiles. There's been military people that have been pedophiles. There's been teachers that are pedophiles. There's been, you know, Boy Scout leaders, pedophiles. Pastors have been pedophiles. 
carnival workers have been pedophiles. Other children have been pedophiles to other children. I mean, it's, you know, and people, they, they take advantage because they know it's a touchy subject. It really is. Uh, I was just talking to somebody about this today, and this is the problem, is that it's such a taboo and touchy subject, and it really pulls at the heartstrings of people. It does. Because it's an evil act, right, when somebody violates a kid. And what happens is these conspiracy theorists knows that it will pull on the heartstrings of the elderly and the old and people who care about kids and stuff like that. And, and they'll use that. Like I said, I was talking earlier about how they market and target individuals with target marketing. And what they're doing is they're, they're marketing your hopes, your dreams, and your fears. So when these conspiracy theorists like Lift the Veil and other guys uh, come out with their little shows and they're like, oh, we've got to bring these evil pedophiles down. we got to get this cabal down. Well, it, you know, that's kind of a fantasy of a lot of these older folks, you know, that think in their lifetime they're going to see a big crackdown on the cabal of pedophiles and that that's going to, you know, erase all the pedophiles from history and... There's never going to be another pedophile as long as we live. I'm sorry, guys. That's not how it works. Monsters uh, walk in every shape and form. And you're not going to wipe out pedophilia. There's always going to be another monster to take that monster's place. That's society. We, you know, There's sick people out there that do sick shit. And you ain't never going to stomp it out. And the, the fact that... These guys, they do this and they know they're targeting people's dreams and fears. And they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing to people. They know exactly because, you know, it makes them money. Because they know people will give it to them. They know people. But, you know, Isaac chose to choose. He chose to do these things. He chose to engage in this criminal behavior and it ate him up inside. You know, when when you, you know, Isaac came from a good upbringing. His parents didn't raise him as a degenerate. The heroin made him a degenerate. <laughs> you know, that's where Isaac went wrong. And when Isaac ran out of money, I'm sure, this is my take on it. When Isaac ran out of money and he couldn't afford his drugs anymore, reality set in for him. And all of the evil things he did... All of the evil things he said caught up with him. You know, his conscience. He threw away his own friends for his drug addiction. He threw away his own friends. Think about that for a minute. He had people like Seth Green and Paris Jackson and high, you know, high profile celebrities that would help him. And he threw it all away. He threw it all away for his heroin addiction so that he could get money to fuel because his friends wouldn't give him money anymore. They knew he was addicted. So they said, no, no, Isaac, we're not giving you money anymore. We're not, we're not going to help you, you know, until you help yourself. And his friends probably wanted him to go to rehab. Think about this now. If you think about Isaac Cappy logically now, and you really put your head around this, you probably think all those people wanted him to help himself. They probably wanted him to go to rehab and and beat the heroin addiction or beat whatever addiction he had. But he chose not to. The heroin was uh, too much. Was too much for him. And so all of these people shut him out. Seth Green shut him out. Paris Jackson shut him out. Everybody shut him out. And, you know, he ended up hanging around some really bad individuals on the Internet. And, you know, these guys that are doing these conspiracy theories, they're not good people. They're just not. And I think when Seth Green, he did said all those things about Seth Green and other people that used to go to bat for him and, and called themselves his friends, uh, they probably told him, never contact me again. You know, because Seth Green has children, right? And, and Seth Green was probably really pissed off. I think Seth Green's got children. I don't know. I've never looked him up much, but I believe he has, he's got children. I'm not much on the Hollywood scene either. 
I, I don't study their demographics or whatever, but you know, you think about this, you know, so Seth Green was probably like, never come near me again. You know, he has, you know, if he's got children, you know, why would you want this guy around you ever again after he said those vile things about him? And I'm sure Patriot, uh, uh, Paris Hilton, uh, not Paris Hilton, pa Paris Jackson probably said the same thing. She's probably like, never come near me again. You put your hands on me. Get the fuck out of here. You know? So here's uh, Isaac Cappy. He's broke. He's got no money. All of these conspiracy theory fucking con men have used him up. Have used him up. He's no good anymore. He's got no more information or uh, fake bullshit to put out. Uh, so these guys all cut him loose. Lift the veil. All of these guys. They've got no more use for him. He's just get out of here. We don't need you. Thanks for making us some money when you did, though. Thank us for making making us some money, but we don't need you. So here's Isaac Cappy, I'm sure, all alone in his car down in Arizona trying to get to his parents' house. And I think, you know, life caught up with him. All the bad that he did caught up with him. All of the bad caught up with him. And there he is. He's gone. This is what happens. And, you know, the QAnon movement, whether you like to face it or not, as good as people think it might be, it's really bad. It's an evil movement. And it's full of con men. It's full of grifters. It's full of thieves. It's full of liars. And it's a very, very deep, dark, disturbing movement where they focus on pedophilia. They focus on executions, murders, uh, violence, death. There's nothing good with it. They don't support any... Everything that comes out of QAnon is negative. It's got the, a negative vibe. It's got a negative feel. They don't really... They don't get excited over good things. The only time they clap is when something bad happens. You know? I think that's the biggest takeaway with the QAnon movement. It's, it, it's a, a dopamine for bad shit. And I'm not surprised to see all kinds of bad shit coming from it. It, it doesn't shock me. I guess he was near Belmont. Belmont, Arizona, from what I believe. But, you know, I'm not shocked from all the bad things coming from it. I, I, I'm just not. You know, I said this a year ago. When I, when I started seeing this take off, and I started seeing as it grew, I said, this is bad. This is really bad. And, and I made a scope about it. I still have the scope saved. I said, this is a really bad movement because it's not, it's got nothing good in it. That's right. Thomas Paine is Michael Moore, a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's been doxxed too. Don't bother. He'll laugh at you too. Uh, but, you know, it, it's sad. It's a really sad. All I wanted was Killary locked up. I think everybody wanted that at one point, but that's not, that's just not in the realm of reality. It's just not, you know, and I said this a couple of scopes ago. I mean, uh, you know, you see what the FBI did to Donald Trump. You don't think Hillary's not going to use that excuse? She's going to say, oh, the, corrupt, the FBI was corrupt. They set me up just like Donald Trump. She got her jail, get out of jail free card with them dummies. Uh, sorry, you know, blame Peter Strzok and all these other FBI agents. They pretty much gave her a way out. Uh, I never, I, I don't, the possibility of Hillary Clinton getting indicted is probably zero to none, in, in, in my honest opinion. They just can't. That's why Barr's going after everybody else. You know, he's, he's, he wants to go back to the FISA part of it. And, you know, oh, this, this shit's going to go down. But it's not going to go down with the way these Q clowns say and all of that. It's not like that. I mean, people are going to get charged with shit like obstruction of justice. Uh, uh, things like that. You know, I think Peter Strzok is probably going to catch the worst of it. Because Peter Strzok is the only one I see so far that abuses power. Uh, and he's probably going to catch the hardest charge. But the other guys, I, I think it's going to be... 
obstruction of justice if they can push it. You know, it's going to be shit like that. It's not going to be as big as people think. Uh, but, you know, these Q clowns, you know, they make it to be this big thing that's going to happen. And, you know, all these mass arrests are going to come down. And I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be like that. I mean, uh, I, I just don't. You, you have to understand Washington, D.C. You got to understand. They're not going to they're not going to push this too far. Uh, although I wouldn't fuck with William Barr, but I, I think if they find corruption, Durham's the man that's going to find it. It doesn't mean that, you know, I mean, if there's money involved or something like that, yeah, probably somebody's going to prison, but there's got to be real hardcore crimes, I guess. I, I, you know, I mean, I, I think Peter Strzok's going to do some time. I'm going to be honest. I think Peter Strzok's going to do time. What he did is not okay. That dude's that dude's in a world of shit. That's that's why you don't see him tweeting. Oh, Gitmo's not going to happen. Gitmo's for foreign detainees. These people don't understand. Again, again, that's how these QAnon people get one up over on people. Okay, these people don't understand the law. They don't understand the Constitution. They don't. They say they do, but they don't. They don't understand the legalities of this. They're not lawyers. They're not judges. They're not. You know they're they're not law enforcement. They don't understand. That's why when these people like Prey and Medic and Brendan Dilling, all these guys tell you this kind of crap, they don't understand. They never. They have no law enforcement background. They're not lawyers. They're not judges. They know nothing about law. They're just telling you what you want to hear. They're filling your head full of uh, y your dreams. You know, they're telling you what you your fantasy is. But they have no real insight. You know, Dan Bogino said it best today. QAnon is a scam. It's a con man. Everybody gets it, but people that aren't intellectually smart enough. And hopefully people like Dan Bongino and other people who are now starting to talk about it can really wake people up to this. You know, when big names start talking about this, you know it's coming to a, uh, it's it's coming to a head because other people are now like, no, come on. And Dan Bongino's been in law enforcement his whole life; he understands everything. So you know, you you look at the whole thing and you just shake your head at it all, all the shit that's going on with people. You know, I mean. There used to be a time platformers would get excited over a $5 donation and be like, Ooh, I just got $5. These guys want two or $3,000 a donator. These people that are running their streams now. They're not even, they're not even, you know, being honest about their platforms. They want loads of cash. It's not cool, man. It's not cool to promote vitamin products and coffee and shit like that. You're ripping these old people off. Let's be honest. You, you know, get honest with your viewers. You, you, are, you are ripping these people off. And you know, you're conning them with the conspiracy theory. Because, you know, if it wasn't for that conspiracy theory, people wouldn't even watch you. They would be like, who the fuck is this guy talking about? This guy who wants to rub his dick across people's foreheads. I mean, really? That's your show? Rubbing your penis across people's foreheads? Or talking about humping them in the butt? I mean, that's your show? That's your shtick? That's really going to keep intellectual people watching you? No, they're coming back because you're telling them lies. You're telling them you have inside knowledge into the Trump administration. And into the Department of Justice and other places. That's really you don't. And that some secret nitwit named QAnon is giving you, uh, you know, inside knowledge into what is happening. That's the only reason they come to your show. It's a grift. It's a lie. I know it and every intellectual person knows it out there. It's the people that aren't very intellectual that believe it. Plain and simple. And, you know, is Dan Bagino for real? Of course Dan Bagino is for real. The guy was in the Secret Service for years. The guy has a, he's a very intelligent guy. 
You just don't get in the Secret Service, by the way. you got to have a pretty distinguished career to get into the Secret Service. Not just anybody walks through those doors. It, it's, a, it's a very prestigious position to get a job with the Secret Service. You know, it's... Yeah, demanding that someone suck his penis. I mean, this is shit, people. That's not conservative. That's not conservative. And these people wouldn't be listening to him if it wasn't for this QAnon crap. They would be like, well, get out of here. They never listened to him before. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you. Brendan Dilley, before politics, couldn't get five people to watch his scopes. Honest tr true story. Then when he got into politics, he was promoted by bigger accounts. He then was lucky if he could get 15 people in his scope. Then he ran for Congress, and then he got some people in his scope. He got 50, 60 people to come in his scope. But then he promoted the conspiracy theory known as QAnon, and he got a lot of people to come in his scope. It's targeted marketing. There was a time Brendan Dilley said that QAnon was the fakest shit he ever saw. But because somebody from QAnon contacted him one day, he totally changed his mind. He totally changed his mind, and he was now with the QAnon con uh, movement because somebody from the Q team contacted him. I mean, the biggest ruse you ever heard, right? The biggest ruse, right? So Brendan Dilley fucking tells everybody... QAnon contacted him, and then all of a sudden everybody's excited about it. You know, uh, this is how, you know, uh, Brendan Dilley sold his soul to make money. Basically, that's what he did. Brendan Dilley sold his soul for money. Like everybody else that's doing it. They sold their souls. They know it's fake. They know it's absolutely fake. You know, uh, that, uh, that motherfucker probably laughs every time he shuts a scope off. I'm not kidding. He knows it's fake. Trust me. No doubt in my mind. David Hayes knows it's fake. He probably laughs when he shuts his scope off. When these guys got together, they probably, after they got done with their little scope the other night, they probably laughed so hard at you dummies that were in there. They were probably like, oh my god. These suckers. And they probably high-fived each other. <coughs> but that's why I call it a criminal conspiracy. They all know it's fake. They all promote each other. It's a criminal enterprise. Ain't no different than the RICO. It's a RICO case if I've never saw one. All of these people know they're ripping off old people, selling nothing, and they think they're going to get away with it. They think they're going to get away with it. That's the funniest part about it, is that they actually think they're going to get away with it. No, you're not. At some point, someone's knocking on your door, boys. I'm telling you, at some point, mark my words, I know what I'm talking about. At some point, all of these guys that are doing this, law enforcement's going to come for them. Because somebody somewhere is going to care about their family enough who you've robbed. And they're going to take possession. They're going to take control of their estate. They're going to become their legal guardian. And those people that do are going to come after every fucking penny you ripped off from their loved one. And it's not going to be about revenge. It's going to be about getting even with you. About how you ripped off their loved one, their elderly loved one. Those are the people that are going to spark the spark. The ones that go to law enforcement and say, these people ripped off my mother, or these people ripped off my father. I want you to fucking do something about it. And law enforcement's going to come for them. Every last one of them. They're going to realize that these guys were running a criminal enterprise with all their friends upon the internet. That's what's going to happen to them. It might not be today, it might not be a week from now, but eventually it's going to happen. All criminal enterprises come to an end. And this is no different than anything else. It's at that point. I'm not much worried about it. It's that they're criminals. Every last one of them that promote Q are criminals, in my eyes, that take money for it. They're criminals. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They're, they're not stupid. They're highly intelligent people who are conning people out of their money. 
Trump knows it. I know it. Everybody with a higher IQ than 40 knows it. Eventually, law enforcement's going to come. You can say project much. You can say whatever you want. I know how I know how law enforcement works. They're going to come for them. And, and and you clowns that you know think they're going to get away with this, they're not. They're not. Dilly did a scope of Dems using people's feelings on rape, etc. Yet that's exactly what Q does: preys on people's fears and hopes for justice. That's exactly what the QAnon people do. These platformers do that. I told you, they use your hopes and dreams. That's targeted marketing. It's criminal targeted marketing. They're selling you nothing. You get no, there's no product. They're selling you thin air. There is no QAnon. There is no secret guy at the White House up on HN posting. These highly sophisticated criminals know what they're doing. I'm so glad I can speak about these people that are doing it now. On a real honest base. Before I couldn't because, you know, some of these people I thought would come to their senses and stop doing it. You know, uh, but not a Q-tard. I don't care what you are. If you're supporting this criminal enterprise and you're smart enough to know better, you're a criminal too in my eyes. I mean, that's the point I'm making here. Uh, adults should know better. You know, and, and think if this was your grandmother or your grandfather or somebody you loved, these guys were ripping off thousands of dollars, you'd be a little upset. You would be like, wow. If somebody ripped off your mom, Dogtown, you know, of their life savings over a conspiracy theory, would you be upset about that? I'm just, I'm just wondering, would you be upset that somebody ripped off your mom or your dad or somebody you cared about? Would you want some justice for them? Once you want somebody to step in and say, hey, this isn't okay. This isn't okay. These people are grown, grown, you know, adults that know wrong from right. That, that they know what they're doing is wrong. That's the thing. They ripped off a lot of people. Who did they rip off? They ripped off every conservative that they fooled with this conspiracy theory. These people, you know, you can say these people chose to give, give them money, but really these people were lied to. They were lied to. And then these grifters, these con men, these, these snakes promoted what they know is fake. They know it's fake. Trust me. They know it's fake. They're not stupid people. They know it makes money. And if you argue this point, you're not understanding what is going on. It would be one thing if you could find some factual evidence that this is not fake. But you can't. This is totally fake. And they're ripping off those that are less fortunate, that aren't smart enough to think for themselves. So you have to understand from a uh, perspective of somebody that has a higher IQ of 40, you know, you can just put it all together. They're ripping people off, man. You know, these guys are con men. You know, uh, they've, they've built their whole platforms off conning people of their money. They know it's fake. They're intelligent. They're sophisticated. People like David Hayes, they write books. He's not stupid. He's a very intelligent man, but he knows that this makes him money. See, and he's going to go on the premise. See, their excuse, their excuse for ripping off all these people is, I didn't know it was fake. I mean, that's going to be their excuse in the end. That's when they're crying when they're crying, when they're charged with crimes and they're bawling their eyes out and they're fucking snot strolling out of their nose in the police stations, they're going to say, I didn't know it was fake. I thought it was real. I was trying to save the country. 
That'll be praying medic and all the rest of them crying in some fucking napkin in a police station. And the, you know, the cops going to look at them and be like, dude, do you really think a high level member of the government was on a website where some pedophiles post leaving you clues? Is that what you're telling me fucking nitwit? Is that what you're telling me? You're an author, right? You write books. You write books, right? You're telling me that a member of the government was up on a message board where they share child porn and pictures of Hitler. This is what you're telling me. Can you imagine getting questioned by a police officer in that aspect of things? Could you imagine looking at the cop being like, oh, but I'm an author. I believed it. I mean, what? Oh, but Meg's here. Meg's here. I was just talking, Meg. I was talking about how when these QAnon platformers get dragged into the police stations for running their criminal enterprises, that how, how are they going to explain to the police that they thought a super secret government agent was posting on a message board where they post pictures of Hitler and pe pedophile, pedophile images. And that we have a, an, an author who is educated, who thinks that's real. And his excuse to that police officer, as the police officer laughs at him and says, what? And then says, say that again for me, please. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge you right now for fraud. Okay, guy, come here. Let, let me let me get your fingerprints. I mean, that's going to be that's going to be the end. I think they'll charge him for fraud, but I think that they'll launch an investigation pretty hard. <laughs> I, I, it's for, he knows it's wrong. He knows what well, he's doing. Well, you got to prove it. That's I think it's thing. provable. I think at this point it's provable. Well, they would prove it. They they would have access to Well, I I think I think they're letting them be, bury themselves. Maybe. You know, in order if you want to get somebody on something big, you let them keep going. Why stop them when you can get them at grand larceny? And really stick it up their butts if you're law enforcement. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't That's know what, what I would do. I mean, if it was me, guys, I mean... I don't it, know what laws they would break. They would have to be able uh, to access... Elder things. abuse? Uh, well, I know, but who's going to file the charges? You'd have to have a DA bring those charges on behalf of the state. Hey, it's only going to take one state. I thought, well, we'll see. You know what's going to happen? One person gave $20,000. Did you know this? Isaac Cappy milked $20,000 out of an old guy. It's going around right now. $20,000 out of an old guy. You don't think that old guy's family right now is going, what the fuck did you do? Well, I'm sure there will. There could be some lawsuits. I'm sure there are families that are oh, that are trying to unwind the financial horror that they may already not know that they were some of to. The, these guys over so at these the, people do it on the sly. When it's yeah. like it's no listen. These people are donating on the sly. They are. They're donating on the sly because they don't want their families to tell them to stop. Well, you know, Patriot Soapbox. They're taking in thousands. From elderly people, thousands I of dollars. Remember, I thought recently I saw a scope about some guy talking about his sister who had disabilities. That was somebody was trying to get. There's cons like that everywhere. Yeah. Right. It's really sad. But after a while, they go down. They should. They should actually. There should be better protections for elderly. Oh, there people. should absolutely, especially on the we internet. We spend too much time arguing about dumb shit that should already be settled. Like, I was talking about, you know, uh, t earlier tonight, you know, back in the day, streamers, even gaming streamers, whatever streamers, you would get a $5 donation, and you would get excited. You're about to get banned out of my channel, Dogtown. I'm only going to tell you one time to cut the shit, and then you're out of here. He's just being a fucking bonehead. He's done nothing but argue since he's been in my channel. Well, then just ban him. Uh, yeah, he's going to get banned. But anyway... I was talking earlier about, uh, you know, $5 five donations, you know, streamers and stuff would get excited because they got a $5 donation. Now these guys are asking for thousands and thousands That's of dollars. That's because they know how much they can get. They've seen the They're Go milking Bundy these said, people. For I mean, you've seen, what, the, who was it that was um, arrested and, like, overnight they, he got $500,000? A leftist, the 
Yeah. Like. Well, the left does it too. Michael Avenatti. No, it wasn't Michael Avenatti. It was. I can't think of it. Michael Avenatti can't even get a public no, defender. No, no, no. I'm thinking it was. It was. Anyway. Anyway. I can't think of it. Anyways, Jeez. I'll leave you Anyways, and another thing today, uh, Michael Avenatti applied for a public defender. Oh, uh, you did it, bud. Guess what? I'm on my way over. See, I don't put up with the riffraff on my... I'm not like everybody else. I don't I don't play this game. Uh, I'm on my way over. I, I whack See, a I fucking troll. The... I whack a good fucking troll. That's all you're here for. You're probably Thomas fucking Dickhead Burger, I'm sure. Or one of his people. So... We're going to go ahead and we're going to put you in a nice time out. And now you can't talk, asshole. So that's what I do to assholes. I put you in a big fucking time out. <laughs> Enjoy your ride. Uh, but, you know, look. I'm sure he's one of the Thomas Schuberger uh, clientele. Uh, you know, uh the Fango told me that they would come running as soon as they knew I was uh, talking about him. Uh, so I expect a few trolls. Not that I give a shit, but, uh, you know, you gotta, you just gotta put them on fucking blank and then they can't talk. I, I don't, I don't really argue with people much. I, I'll let them go for about two minutes and then if they get out of hand, I just put them in a trash can. I'm not like everybody else. I'll I'll drop you in a fucking trash can and leave you there, you know. Bye. <laughs> I know, you know you fucking. I, I don't put up with eggheads. I'm not like everybody else. This isn't. I don't play the uh, oh don't block uh, game. I, no, I'll I'll throw you in the fucking trash, dude. I'll leave you there. You know? uh, but yeah, I'm sure they'll come run into my scope because I talked about them and all that. I yeah. So, uh, Meg is up to. Yeah, Meg is a very uh, wiseful woman. Very smart. You know. Very smart. Very intellectual. Meg actually... Meg has a master's in uh, uh, anthropology. A lot of people don't know that. She's a very smart woman. Very smart. Uh, if you know what anthropology is, and uh, that's a hard degree to get. So she's got a master's in that. So you're not dealing, when you're dealing with Meg, you're not dealing with somebody stupid. Uh, she, she, uh, she studied the, uh, uh, you know, the human sociology. Uh, so she's up to the, you know, she, that's why Meg could never be convinced of QAnon. Uh, because, you know, she's, she's smart. She's smart. She's not stupid. And, and when you've got a master's in, you know, anthropology, you know, good luck convincing her of this shit because it's impossible. You know, she knows she knows cons and she knows uh, human conditions and things like that. Yeah, people are going wow right now. Yeah, she's a smart girl, man. Really smart. You know, it take you know it, it hard work to get a master's degree in something like that. You know, she was a step away from going to for her. Uh, you know, Doctor Red in it, but she decided that she'd got gone far enough with it and didn't want to go any further but she's a smart smart woman very intelligent a lot of people don't know that about her very intelligent very smart uh but anyway anyway so i guess that's about all i have to talk about on tonight's show it's been an hour uh but understand these guys that are doing this thing online they're scammers every last one of them a criminal enterprise up to no good shenanigans Eventually they'll end up in a, in a in a fucking police station, crying in a napkin, because they knew what they were doing was wrong. Some old person's family somewhere is gonna fucking go after these guys eventually, if they're not already. I hear that. I hear shit rumors floating around that law enforcement's uh, sniffing around all these platformers that are doing this. You know, you can't you can't rip people off. It's against the law. I don't even know how they've gotten away with it this long. <laughs> I mean, you know, usually usually these conspiracy theories come and go pretty quick. They have a very short shelf life. This one, not so much. Because people monetized it. The only reason it still exists is because of the monetization. Anyway, have a great night. Be good. Thanks for tuning in.